Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to create Toast notifications using pure HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, if you're unsure what Toast notifications are, they're basically just a simple method for you to communicate something to your end users. And basically, they look something like this. So you can tell the user that uh, something has been saved or even that something has gone wrong or an error has occurred. So basically, I'll be showing you how to create these right here from scratch in this video. So uh, inside this tab, we're gonna be working with this HTML file right here, which of course doesn't currently have the toast functionality. So let's go inside the text editor. As we can see, the HTML file looks something like this. So first, I wanna create a new directory inside here called toast, and this will contain a toast.css and a toast.js. So basically, uh, the reason for this directory is just to contain all of the toast code um, in a separate directory. Uh, we can, of course, then uh, create a link to that CSS inside the HTML file by saying href toast and, of course, toast.css, and the same thing for the JavaScript down the bottom here. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we're going to be working on the HTML and the CSS first before moving on to the JavaScript. So firstly, uh, let's just create a div with a class of toast. And basically this, uh, this div right here is going to be the main toast uh, container for the actual toast message. Okay, so for example, let's say in right uh, inside here we can say something like sample uh, toast message. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Um, and of course, later on, the JavaScript is going to inject a message inside here uh, for the finished product. But for now, uh, just some sample text so we can see what it looks like while we're styling with CSS. So uh, uh, let's now go inside uh, the browser and just refresh the page. And of course, we get uh, the sample toast message right there. So now let's work on the CSS to actually position this message in the top center of the web page. So back inside here, Let's go inside the CSS and firstly just target the class of toast inside here We're going to say position and make this fixed so that uh, the toast appears uh, uh, On top of everything else on the web page even when scrolling down We're going to also set a top of 20 pixels um, Just for now and also a left of zero and a right of zero um, and a margin of auto and along with those three properties, also a maximum width of 400 pixels. So essentially, uh, combining all of these four properties right here, it's going to uh, horizontally center the toast on the web page. So now, saving this and refreshing gives us something like this. As we can see in the inspector, if I hover over the element, we can see it is in fact centered on the web page. So now, we can move on to adding some appearance and color to the uh, message so back inside here let's add some padding of six pixels a background of just a light gray and a color or text color of a dark gray so by default we're going to be using gray but in future or uh, just in a few moments here we're going to be adding uh, two more classes for success and error to of course make it green and red but for now let's keep it as gray we're going to also set a font family and make this sans serif and a text align of center. Um, so now saving this and refreshing gives us something like this. So not too bad so far. However, I'm going to be adding some borders and also a box shadow. So back inside here, uh, let's just go down and we can say uh, border and make this one pixels solid and then um, a darker version of the gray compared to the background color and also a border radius of 5 pixels along with a box shadow of 0, 0, 10 pixels RGBA and then 0, 0, 0 and then 0 0.2 so basically a 20% opaque black for the box shadow now of course keep in mind that all of these are purely just for appearance so of course you can change these to suit your own projects or scenarios 
So now saving this and refreshing gives us something like this. So definitely looking a lot better now. Um, so now we can move on to actually having the transitioning or the animation effect to hide and show the toast message. So just for reference, let's go back inside the demo and see what it looks like. As we can see, it sort of fades in from the top and then fades back out. So for this to work, we need to set some default properties on the toast itself. So back inside here, let's firstly set the top to zero. That way it appears on the top of the page by default. Along with this, let's also set the visibility to be hidden along with the opacity to also be uh, zero. Okay, and now essentially, of course, uh, by default, this right here is what the toast is going to be when the page first loads up. As we can see, we can't select it either, and that is due to the visibility of hidden. Okay, cool. Uh, so now let's add a new class um, to our CSS here called toast dash dash visible. And basically this class is going to undo these three properties which we set to make the toast hide. So we can say down here top and make this 20 pixels back to the way it was before. Set an opacity of one as well as a visibility of visible. So now let's save this and refresh and then go inside the, um, the dev tools here and just add the toast dash dash visible class as, and as we can see, um, it is now visible. So basically the JavaScript is going to be adding this class for us to of course make the toast visible. And also for the animation, this is really straightforward. Let's go back inside here and add a transition property to the toast. We're gonna say opacity and make it 0.2 seconds, a top of 0.2 seconds and a visibility um, also at 0.2 seconds. So basically now we are saying that it's gonna take 0.2 seconds for the opacity, the top and the visibility to actually change when we set this class. So now saving this and refreshing, let's try it one more time by adding this class, so dash dash uh, visible. Uh, if I spelled that correctly, maybe not. Let's try it again. So visible, there we go. And now it's working perfectly fine as we can see with the animation. So now that is complete, we can uh, move on to adding the success and the error um, colors. So back inside here, this is done with another uh, CSS modifier um, class. So I'm gonna say toast dash dash success. And we're gonna say here, I'm just gonna copy and paste some colors here. So I'll copy this and paste it inside here. Of course, just some green colors to indicate success. Um, also the border color once again should be darker than the background color. And I can do the same thing for toast and then dash dash error just like this. So now we have success and we have error, of course, red and green. So now let's go inside the index HTML and just add some of these classes by default. So toast dash dash visible and toast dash dash success um, just so we can see what it looks like. So now saving this and refreshing gives us something like this. And we can also try the error by saying dash dash error right here to ensure it actually works. And of course, it works perfectly fine. So now we are complete with the uh, HTML and CSS. We can now move on to the JavaScript. So firstly, I do want to just remove the HTML um, for the div right here because the JavaScript is gonna be generating this HTML for us on page load. So definitely remove this toast div, which we just created, and now save this and then uh, we can go inside the toast.js file and of course uh, begin work on this. So um, let's just go back inside the browser real quickly here. I do wanna show you the usage of the toast. So essentially um, the way it's gonna work is if I was to say toast.show just like this and then pass in testing message and then here I pass in the second argument something like success so basically um, this function call right here this is our message and then followed by our state so our success or error and when I run this I expect that 
the toast of course is going to show with a uh, with a message of testing message um, and a green background so basically this is the usage we're going to be going for um, when writing the JavaScript code for the toast notifications so with this being said let's get rid of this and of course create that functionality so back inside here in the JS let's firstly just create um, a new constant called toast equal to um, an object and of course this right here is our global toast object and then we can go inside here and we can say init and inside the init function we're going to firstly just say this dot hide timeout is equal to null I'll be going into further detail on this a bit later on but for now let's set this to be null then below we're going to be creating the div with a class of toast and then appending it to the body so I'm going to say this dot l short for element is equal to document dot create element then pass inside here of course a div okay we can then say this dot l dot class name we're going to make it toast by default that way it has no color and it is, and it is also invisible so of course just this class right here we can then say document dot body dot append child and pass in here this dot l also i forgot to mention that the reason why we're doing it inside the js and not the html um, is because it's going to be a lot easier for you to use the toast by simply just including the script and the css and of course the javascript is going to handle all the html for you so now inside toast.js let's go down here we're going to say document dot add event listener on dom content loaded we're going to run this function right here and this function is going to say toast dot init so basically once the document is ready to work with we're going to be running the toast dot init to initialize um, the toast object and of course create the element and append it to the body so now saving this and refreshing the browser we can see that Obviously, not, uh, not much has changed uh, visually. However, if I was to inspect this, we can see um, right here that the div was created um, by the JS. So everything's working perfectly fine um, up until now. Um, so now we can move on to actually creating the dot show uh, function, of course, to show the toast messages. So back inside here, let's go inside the JS once again and we're going to be adding a second function here called show this will be taking in uh, of course the message and also the state so so I'm using the word I'm using the word state here to signify either success or error of course name this whatever you like um, and then inside here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say clear timeout and pass in here this dot hide timeout once again I'll be uh, going into more detail on this timeout stuff a bit later on but for now let's let, let, let's just keep that there um, also I want to say this dot l dot text content is equal to your message so basically we're going to be setting the message in the HTML for the toast div um, and also we're going to say this dot l dot class list sorry our class name my mistake so class name is equal to toast and then toast dash dash visible so basically we are making the toast visible when we press on or when we when we call the show function okay um, so now we can actually test this out so I'm going to say save here I'm going to refresh the browser then I'm going to say uh, toast dot show and pass in here some sample message as we can see the toast appears perfectly fine however there are two problems with this um, we don't currently have support for the success or error and it also stays on permanently so first let's add the code to support the success or error so back inside here let's say if you provided a state okay we're gonna say this dot l dot class list dot add we're gonna be adding a new class to the list this class will of course be toast dash dash and then of course your success or your error so we're going to say right here state inside your curly brackets of course ensure you're using JS template strings with um, the back tick character right there next to the one on your keyboard so now with this being said let's save this and refresh and then we're going to do the exact same thing this time passing in something like success pressing enter and now of course he has a green background color 
So now let's actually remove um, the notification once um, three seconds have uh, have uh, gone by. Okay, so let's go back inside here and we are going to say uh, this is where the timeout stuff comes into play. So we're going to say this dot hide timeout is equal to set timeout. Okay, inside here we're going to run this function. So basically with set timeout. If you pass in here 3000, this means 3000 milliseconds. So basically, after three uh, after three seconds have passed, we're going to be running this function right here, and this function is going to say this dot l dot class list dot remove. We're going to be removing the toast dash dash visible um, class from the class list. Okay, so now saving this and refreshing, it should now go away after three seconds. So one, two, and then three, and it is now gone away. So I might just explain this uh, this hide timeout property. So essentially, uh, the reason for this is because if you keep calling toast.show like this, we don't want it to always be on for let's just say 20 seconds, depending on how many times you've called this. So um, the clear timeout right here is basically saying if the toast was already visible when you called the show uh, function, when I actually remove that three second timeout, which we previously set through this, remove that and instead just start a new one. That way, each time you call toast.show, your three second timer resets. And that's basically why we've got that uh, hide timeout um, property on the toast object. Okay, so that is how to create toast notifications from scratch using pure HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.